seen before. It's more fun. It's for the internet, everybody. It's for the internet. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you, internet. This one stop to fame now, huh? <laughs> look at you. This is a packed house. Look at this. Holy shit. Look at this. Nuts to butts in this party. Look at this. Love seeing this. By the way, Nuts to Butts is a great gay bar about four blocks south of here. <laughs> I recommend them. Don't have to be gay, just like getting a free drink or two every now and then. Well, it's nice, you know, feel pretty. You know, I'm at that age where I'm a whole new brand. I'm hot to some gay guys. I'm a, I'm a type. Yeah, you're thinking in your head right now, it's a bear. It's a bear. I'm a fucking bear. Uh, but look at you, I'm happy to see you guys out here in my packed house of people supporting live comedy, huh? Doesn't it feel good? Don't take this shit for granted, everybody. The world's back open again, isn't it? Remember those two years that sucked, huh? When we couldn't go anywhere or do anything? Now look at us. Fucking look at us, huh? Out there living life, just raw dog in the world. Doesn't this feel awesome? Look at us in a small room, jam full of people, breathing each other's air and shit, huh? We don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck, because y'all are young. Young people didn't give a shit about that at all, did they? You know what I mean? I'm a Gen, I'm a Gen X guy, right? We're all like, good to see you. Thank you. Thanks for staying out late, guys. Good to see you. I know, you, that's why they came to the early show. They're like, well, we got to sit here and we got to... The, we got to watch those monk reruns before we watch the movie. Yeah, I, see, I felt it. I felt it. It's changed the world, though, hadn't it? I mean, you know, some people don't want to talk about it. They want to act like it, but it changed the world. Because, right, we're out here. We're having a great time, right? We're tough. We're badass. And then somebody coughs in the elevator. <laughs> and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> I just got out of the house. You're going to kill me now? <laughs> also, too, it changed the way we talk to people. Remember back in the old days, the pre-COVID days, if someone was to sneeze around you, you're like, oh, God bless you. Would you like a tissue? Now somebody sneezes, you're like, hey, go fucking die at home, please. I just got rid of my Zoom membership. I'm not going back to that life. It was tough for comics. Like I said, I don't take it for granted. I'm back out here, I'm loving it. I love to get the chance to perform in front of people again. This is awesome, right? But it wasn't, you know, it just wasn't like that. It uh, changes the way you look at the world. I got the shot, a lot of people, I know that's a weird little topic now. People don't like talking about the vaccine. I was happy to get it because I could get back to work. My kids got it so they could go back to school. That was great. My dad was the big holdout in my family. My dad didn't want to get it. Well, I'm proud to announce we finally got him vaccinated. He doesn't know that he's vaccinated. <laughs> I hit him with a blow dart on a fishing trip. Yeah, just right in the neck. He's like, ah, damn, these mosquitoes are huge. You know? He's on Team Pfizer, doesn't even know it. <laughs> I gotta get that second shot at him, but I'm gonna pull that off. And I feel it. I feel the weird tension in the room on that topic, right? I can hear what you're thinking. You're like, John, what about body autonomy, okay? You can't just put something in somebody's body without their permission. And normally I'd agree with you, but that man smoked in the car with the windows up till I was 18 years old. I didn't sign any fucking waivers. <laughs> Right? I saved his life. I'm supposed to be six foot four. I think he got the better end of the fucking deal. So let's get to know each other a little bit better. I'm a, I'm a married guy. I mean, we got a lot of couples here tonight. Where are the, by applause, where are the married folks that are here with us tonight? Oh, a lot of you. A lot of you. I'm, I'm, I'm actually silly. I hate to, I'm not proud to announce this, that me and my wife, we just celebrated 20 years. 20 years married, huh? Yay. I'll accept that. I'll accept that. I finally feel like it got to a number that's an accomplishment. 20 years, that's a big round number. You know, that's, a, that's a big deal. That's how you know when love starts. Because at 20 years, you finally hit the magic number where if I would have killed her instead of married her, I'd be free right now. <laughs> Walking around, no debt. Probably an ankle monitor, but fuck, I can live with that. She's already tracking my phone. What's the difference? But I'm excited about it, right? It was a big deal. It was a big occasion in my family. Um, uh, for our, uh, our anniversary, my wife got my wedding ring engraved. Isn't that sweet? Oh, thank you. On the inside, it says, if found, please call, and it's her lawyer's number. <laughs> and that lawyer is Jim Adler, so I'm fucked. Yeah, he's, he's smart. He's tough and smart. I got no chance. 
it was either one or the other, maybe, but no. I got kids, too. I'm a, I'm a dad. Proud to be a dad. By applause, how many of you have children here with us tonight? Feeling that enthusiasm dip a little bit, aren't we? And I, thanks for reminding us our fucking problems. First, a COVID joke. Now telling me I got kids? God damn. I, 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 I am a dad. I am a dad. And I know this is not popular in today's comedy scene, but uh, I'll say this. I, I love being a dad. I really do. It's, a, it's the best thing. It's is. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. It changed my life for the better in every way. Saved my life. You know what I mean? I'm proud to tell you that I'm blessed to have three beautiful daughters. And one that's ugly as shit. But three of them are real pretty. That's a, oh, that's a good deal. Three out of four, right? I mean, that's batting 750, playa. That's, that's a great day at the park, right? I'm a Hall of Famer. I keep that. Spirit. I feel that. I feel some of you hate me now. That's a... It's a joke, man. It says comedy right there on the fucking wall. <laughs> relax. Relax. I'd never say that about my own kid. It's a stepkid. That's not my fault. <laughs> man, what the fuck? I'm the good guy in this story. <laughs> okay, you hate me again. All right, look. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It was a joke. I, 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 don't, I don't have any stepkids. <laughs> I'm still on my first wife. <laughs> Ooh, felt that hit a nerve in here, too. <laughs> Yeah, we're inside the loop. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, guys, do me a favor. I'm going to uh, break down the fourth wall here. Uh, do, if you ever meet my wife, please, God, do not tell her that I called her first wife. She hates that. She gets real pissed off. I call her first wife. She calls me last husband. And then I'm pretty sure she gets a first wife. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, we have very similar search patterns on the Internet. <laughs> One time I fucked around and accidentally deleted her search history. <laughs> All right, hip crowd. I like you guys. <laughs> but yes, I do have four kids. I should clear it up. I some of you, some of the ladies here, are like, hold on, he said some shitty things about his children there. I, I, I was just kidding. I have three daughters, uh, and then my youngest is my son, my baby boy. My prince, you know, the heir to all this. <laughs> God, I wish that part wasn't funny. Man, that wasn't, that wasn't part of the joke. <laughs> and I love my son. He's a great kid. He's a champ, you know what I mean? He's just a real go-getter, you know what I mean? Uh, just the heart of a champion. No quit in him whatsoever. I mean, he's ridiculously ugly. He's fucked up in the face. But, uh, but he's a good kid. Well, he's got flounder eyes, everybody. Uh, you ever seen flounders? They got like one in the middle, one over by the ear. He's got molars in the front. He spits constantly, but uh, he's a good kid. He'll play football, wear a helmet. You don't need to see his face, right? Oh, I see. That's fucked up. No one got upset when I called my son ugly. That's messed up. I called my real son ugly. I, earlier, I made up a fictional daughter, called her ugly. You guys got all bent out of shape. You're like, oh, I got to call my congressman. I called my real son ugly, and you're all like, <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Probably looks like his dad. Whoever that is. <laughs> oh, I'll find out that ugly motherfucker. <laughs> I had to add that last part so everyone in my family hates that joke evenly. <laughs> it's important when you got a big family. You know? That's funny, like, okay, uh, look, I, I've been telling jokes for a long time in my life, and I, I'll say a lot of crazy stuff on stage, and no one ever gets upset. I don't get, like, people like wanting to fight or get pissed off. It's that joke. That's the only one that does it. Whenever I do the thing about stepkids and stepdads, it just touches a nerve. And people get pissed. I, I, I tell that joke, and all of a sudden I got some stepdad named Rick with his cell phone clipped on his belt and was a fight after the show. I'm like, relax, Rick. Fuck, I get it. Well, let me explain this. I, I think I'm allowed to tell the joke. I don't have any stepkids of my own, but, but I am a stepkid, right? My parents were divorced. I got a stepdad, a stepmom. Love them both dearly. Great people. Matter of fact, I'll tell you a story. Uh, my stepdad, Mr. Lee, he was a great guy. Great guy. He was a retired Air Force drill instructor and became a college baseball coach. And he was a great dude. Everything he taught me was always in baseball terms. He was a real big baseball guy, right? And he told me that being a stepdad is like being a relief pitcher with inherited base runners. You didn't put them there, but that's your responsibility now. You gotta keep an eye on them, because they steal. <laughs> I would have been upset, but I, I had $20 in my pocket that I took from his wallet at the time. 
I had to hold the L on that one for a bit. <laughs> but this is cool. I do love seeing people out having a good time at comedy clubs again. You can tell comedy clubs are back to life. We got a bachelorette party hanging out in the back. Holy shit. The world is healing. Oh my God. Can give, can congratulations to you, huh? Where's the, where's the bride to be? Good to see you. How are you? How are you? Oh my God. That's so cute. When are you guys getting married? 29th for tax purposes that's fucking brilliant Isn't it? look at that you get the whole year benefit for that shit i know one of my kids was born on the 29th i'm like fuck yes that's a whole year congrats how long y'all together before you got married uh, we're together almost, three years. almost three years perfect that's industry standard right there you are on a you're on a fucking glide path plan aren't you honey that's cool. I'm happy for you. Well, let me give you some. I'll give you some un, uh, unsolicited advice, if I may, and I and I mean this with with, with sweetness in my heart, right? Because I've been married for 20 years, and uh, people ask you know, like people ask me questions. I'll say, "Hey, you've been married for 20 years. Give me some advice." And it's kind of like like people that just have a brand new baby will ask me advice because I got four kids, and I don't like giving flowery advice and shit. Like I'm not gonna tell you, "Don't go to bed angry," because bitch, you will never sleep. <laughs> That go, don't go to bed angry. That's some Hallmark Channel bullshit right there. No, you fucking, you take that shit to the grave. Right? First one to sleep, you fucking loses. That's what I think. You're like, bitch, you sleepy? I'm on my fourth fucking cup of Senko over here. Right? No, no, I'm going to give you real advice right now. <laughs> okay, like people have brand new babies, they ask for advice. And I'm like, I'm not going to give you some flowery bullshit advice. Uh, here's what you need to know. Sleep when they sleep and wipe front to back. That's all you need to know right there. <laughs> Keep them alive. Repeat every day. That's pretty much the rule. But here's my advice for you uh, as you embark on uh, holy matrimony. Uh, a lot of like the biggest problems in, in, in people that have divorces, it comes down to, uh, well, first off is money, right? But the number two thing is that one of the partners wants to have sex a lot and the other one doesn't really want to. We're all adults. You can figure out who plays who and what part there. All right, so I'll, I'm going to teach you something that's going to alleviate a lot of stress in your life, okay? And that is, do not underestimate the negotiating power of the hand job compromise. I'm trying to, I'm trying to give you life lessons here. All right, because he's going to get all humpy-pumpy and shit on you, and you're not going to feel like it, and he's going to get pissed off. Don't let him get pissed off. Just give him a little pip 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 Because, look, I, w I wanted a steak, but I'll take a hot dog. That's sure. Right. Otherwise, I'm not going to bed hungry. Right? And I tell you what, you do it right. You do the double twist and the move. You can do it during a commercial break. You're back to watching TikToks, reading a book, Housewives, whatever it is you're into. Right? And, and and you know what? Take your time. Learn so are you I'm gonna ask you this, are you good at it? Are you good at tossing the Are you not good at it? Well, you gotta fucking get on that girl. That's that's why you toss the bouquet, that's practice. It's, just, that's, it's for your benefit. It's for your benefit. Because look, I, like my wife now, she's like cocksmith, boy, she just blah, 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 blah. Like she does it faster than I can do it for myself. And that's a, that's a tough competition. I'm fucking good at it. You know what I mean? I, I'm not, when I got no one to impress, I'm fucking fast. Dog, right? I, you know what I mean? I'm like a calf roper. You know, hey, baby, you're naked, naked, fuck a sucker, fuck a sucker. <laughs> Another record time for Tom Wilson. But when, I, when we were first together, she wasn't good at it. She was just like, it was uninspired, right? You know, and you... That's a tough thing to be critical of. You can't really, like, be shitty about it, you know? You gotta, like, be encouraging, you know, because you want her to keep touching it and stuff. <laughs> so you're like, no, you're, that was good. <laughs> oh, you had it for a second. You were doing good. Go back to that for... Mm, ow! That's not it. That's not it. Ow! God damn it, woman. Quit going down so much. Why are you going down? It's beat off, not beat down. You're not beating it up. Why are you beating it down? You, you're making fucking table-side guacamole for fuck's sake? You a notary public trying to go home early? Jesus, start at the bottom, go out with it. Start at the bottom, go out with it. And look, purple is a bad color for dicks. That's a good rule. You see purple, release the grip. Jesus. All right, that's it. That's how I'm John Wilson. Thank you very much.